Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use and set up your Google Nest thermostat. So the first we'll start with the very basic, that is how to control the unit. So that means your screen here is not touch and then how would you change it? So there is a touch bar on the side. So to choose any action, you have to press on it or you have to go from up to down or down to up to scroll through the settings. So now we'll start with how to change the temperature. So if you go from bottom to top or top to bottom, you can change it. So if you see, as I scroll through, the temperature is changing. So that's the best way to change it. Uh, now you can go up and I will set it to 21. And as soon as it goes up and it starts heating, you can see that the color changes and it gives you a yellowish orange color that shows that, okay, the system is heating now. And then at the bottom, it shows you the temperature of the room or this area. And then it shows you, okay, this is the current temperature and this is what you have set to. Now, before we go into other settings, the first thing we need to do is set up Wi-Fi. So when you press on side, it will make you go into the inner setting. So now you go to the setting option. In this one, you will see at number three is the Wi-Fi. It says set up Wi-Fi in the home app. So what you need to do is you need to download the Nest app and go through that. So once you set it up, you open the app. It will show you your home address because you need to set up the address. Then in this one, add product. So there are two options that you can set up. You can either scan the QR code that's behind the unit or you can uh, choose it manually what product you're using. So it's a Google Nest. Then we will go to Nest Learning Thermostat. And then it asks my Wi-Fi to be on. So I will turn on the Wi-Fi. Now, once the Wi-Fi is connected, we have access to all the settings. So we will go to each one by one and we'll discuss them. So now when you press on it, it will take you to the menu screen. So in this one, the first is the date and time and then this is the outdoor temperature and then the indoor temperature is 19.5 and then the humidity now in the in the side if you see there is a back arrow that will take you to the main screen the second is the heat so this is a mode so right now it's on setup to heat if you have uh, in summary if you want to set ac then you can set it from here third is the hold so in this one this is on hold right now that simply means Whatever temperature you set, let's say 21 degrees, and you press hold on it. So now if you see, I will do a stop hold, and then we will reset it. So now if I go back to the hold, and I press on it, then I can hold either the current temperature, or I can raise it. So if you go up and down, then you can do it. Then the eco is, eco mode will be hold, held up till you change the setting. And then I'll go back and then it's okay. Like if you want to do this, then you press on it. And then you do, if you want to cancel it, you go down and back. Or if you want to continue it, then you do this. Uh, then it's the end time. You can choose the time. So let's say 9 p.m., 10 p.m., depending on how you want to run your whole cycle, you can do it. If you want to change the time, you can do it. Like once it's confirmed, you tap on it and then you confirm it. So it says on the top, if you see, it's holding the temperature until 10 p.m. Now we'll go back. Now the next setting is the fan. So with the fan, if you want to run the automatic uh, fan ventilation from your furnace, it's you can set up the timer. So it's 15 minutes or you can do 30 minutes or 45 or one hour. So depending on if, let's say, if you wanna do one hour, we'll do one hour and then we'll do start and then it will also be running your fan. So anytime if you wanna cancel it, you go back to the fan. And then if you see right now, it was running at a timer, you can press stop and then it will cancel it. Now the next settings will be going to the setting menu. Now when you press on the settings, it will show you the first is the back. The second is the equipment. So if you go to this one, this is wiring power information, which is not for a normal use, but if HOA contractor wants to check something, then they can do it. We'll go back. Then this, uh, the second one is the battery status. So it's good that it's connected with the power. There's also two batteries at the back. 
so on the top and the bottom so that's as a secondary source of the power let's say there's a power outage and then your thermostat will still show you the temperature of the room so that's the main use of it then the next setting is Uh, matter so this is the app that your thermostat is linked with so your uh, app is linked with the nest then it just shows you okay the one one app is linked but if you link it with multiple apps it will show you that then the next is the wi-fi uh, network that we have already connected you can go to this one and then you can either um like right now it shows you that it's connected very strong but you can also change it uh from these settings as well so we'll go back now the next is the version. So this is the uh, software version of the thermostat. So then we connected it to the Wi-Fi, it updated it. But if there's any uh, any version that need to be downloaded, then it will show you on the app. And then this will show you this uh, version number. The next setting is your account. So as you connected it through the app, so it's already, it's showing that it's connected. But if you want to delete it, you can go to this one and then disconnect it. Uh, and then you can connect it with the new account. The next is restart. So if you press restart, it will restart the unit, but will not delete any of the information. And then if you do a factory reset, then it will completely reset the device and then you have to restart it from step one. Then the next is back. Then when you press on it, it will take you to the main menu. So now this concludes our video and I hope the information that I explained helped you. So please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.